What up guys, Fojo here, and today I'm coming to you with a quick money making tips guide for brimstone sands specifically, and ways to make some money while you're in brimstone sands, going through and doing all those new quests. Some good ways to go about making money while you're doing it, and keeping an eye out for certain things that you should take advantage of when you see them. But real quick, if you guys could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to let you know when new content drops, that would truly help me out a lot. And if you could also leave a comment if any of these helped you out, or if you yourself have tips for other people to make some money while they're in Brimstone Sands. What do you like to do to make some money there? The first day at Brimstone Sands, I went through and completed all the different quests and tried to get as much done as I could in order to give you guys a little bit of a, a guide on tips to go through here and figure out exactly what to do to make a little bit of money here and there as you go through, complete all these quests, and have fun with the new update. Some of them are pretty obvious, some of them aren't. It's definitely a good thing to keep your eye out for, different ways to make money while you're doing things. But to start off with, there's a lot of new materials and a lot of new things in Brimstone Sands that are going to be going for money because people need them, people will need them for new pieces of armor or equipment, just don't want to do it themselves. So picking up resources as you go and doing things while you're playing the game is a great way to make some money. And there are a bunch of new resources in the game that you can collect now to do so. One of those is aloe. Aloe you get from picking up succulents on the ground. There are tons of them around this new area, but there is one spot that is absolutely full of them. So if you need a spot to go get aloe, or you just want to make a little bit of money, just easy money, just picking things up, then this is a good spot to do it. You can make around 3,000 gold an hour if you really wanted to sit here and pick succulents for an hour, but it's a great thing to pick up as you go while you're going through and doing questing, and you can sell it for a little bit of cash when you get back to town. Another resource to look out for while you're in Brimstone Sands is sulfur. Sulfur is worth a ton right now because it's needed in a lot of new crafting things. Getting sulfur is a great way to make some money. The only problem with sulfur is it is in a very dangerous place to go. The acid pits and acid pools are where you will find sulfur, but these spots are full of angry mobs and the acid itself can kill you pretty quickly. So until you get some acid resistant armor or find a way to traverse this easily, there's not a lot of money to be made here. But you can make quite a bit, and you can make around 5,000 an hour. If you were able to get acid armor and a few other things, you could get this a little faster and probably make more than that. Another resource that people are passing up quite a bit is the scorpion bodies. You get chitin from these bodies, which is in turn used to create chitin armor. So harvesting these, you get one to two, depending on what you're harvesting with. You'll generally get around 4,700 an hour if you were to just harvest scorpions. There is a great place to harvest scorpions and fight them in the northern part of Brimstone Sands. The levels on these aren't too bad, it's 62 and 63. The mature scorpions are a little more tough to fight, but this area isn't super populated and the scorpions aren't too difficult to fight here, so it's a good spot to do it. You can make a decent bit of money here, about 47 to 5,000 an hour, if you wanted to come hunt scorpions and farm them exclusively. There's a few other different resources to look out for while you're going across this area, and some of those are the prickly pear cactuses. Picking these, you can make a decent amount an hour as well, as well as mining sandstone, but both of these resources are generally scattered across the area and aren't super farmable. If you just pick these up as you go and hit one here, one there, you'll make some easy cash as you go along. Sandstone sells for about 12 gold each right now or so. Each piece of that is worth quite a bit, so it's worth grabbing it really quick if you see it. The cactus flesh is also going for about 2 gold each, so every one of the, those that you grab could add up quite a bit over time. Well worth grabbing it if you see it. And for a few quick bonus ones that aren't really specifically brimstone sands, but are very useful to do while you're here. And one of those is craft and sell the things that people need for town boards. People will be constantly going on town boards right now, trying to get their brimstone sands up to 30 or plus in order to buy a large house there or just get their standing up in general. People are going to be constantly buying the resources they need for that. They're going to be spending money. They don't care. They're going to be buying whatever they need to do so. So selling those items and paying attention to what there is on there is a very good way to make some easy money because people will just be buying it because they need it and don't care about going to get it themselves. So definitely keep an eye on the town boards, what you need for those, what people will buy from those, and you can make a ton of coins doing that. Now the last one I have is that Brimstone Sands has a ton of chests throughout it and a ton of ways to get resources, find trophy mats as well while you're out here. One of the chests that you need to pay attention to is that these glyph chests are a thing and they seem to kick out more resources and more interesting stuff than the other ones do so 
make sure you grab glyphs wherever you see them. That way you're able to open all these different glyph chests when you see them and you're able to loot them in order to get all the money, all the all the different things you need to make some money here and be able to play the game fully because these glyph chests are pretty cool and it's a neat addition to the game. You can also make some money doing it. So make sure to grab them when you see them, open them all up and try and get those trophy mats. All the new cool items you see, make some money in the process. Now. All these ways aren't crazy ways of making money, but they are little helpful things to add to your cash as you go and play through these quests. A lot of these materials you will need anyways for some of the quests throughout the Brimstone Sands. So make sure to do this, get some of those items, be able to get through quests quickly, and make some coins while you do it. Thank you guys so much for listening to me talk a little bit about Brimstone Sands and the resources that you can make some money on and different ways to make a few extra coins. But if you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. If you could leave a comment about your favorite way to make money in Brimstone Sands, I would love to hear it and we'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.